and you too are all quite free to believe that a sentient creator deliberately, consciously put himself, a being, put himself or herself or itself to the trouble of going through huge epochs of birth and death of species over eons of time in which 99% in the course of which at least 99.9% .9 of all species, all life forms ever to have appeared on Earth have become extinct, as we nearly did as a species ourselves. Absolutely fascinating to follow the mitochondrial DNA that we all have in common and that we have in common with other species, other primates, and other life forms, and find out where in Africa you came from. But there came a time, probably about 180,000 years ago, when due to a terrible climatic event, probably in Indonesia, a, an appalling global warming crisis occurred. And the, the estimate is that the number of humans in Africa went down to between 40 and 30,000. This close, this close, think about fine tuning, this close to joining every other species that had gone extinct. And that's our Exodus story, is that somehow we don't know how, but it's not written in any scripture, it's not told in any book, it's not part of any superstitious narrative, but somehow the escape from Africa to cooler latitudes was made. But that's how close it was. You have to be able to imagine that all this mass extinction and death and randomness is the will of a being. You are you're, you're absolutely free to believe that if you wish. It's a bit like the argument of uh, free will. People say, well, how, how, do you, how do you have free will? Do you think you do have it? Well, it's a very, very difficult subject indeed. Some religions say you don't, in fact, have it. Yeah, so the connection between religion and free will isn't as simple, as easy as some people like to think it is. Um, but I would say, yes, I think we have free will. When asked why I think so, I would have to take refuge in philosophical irony and say, because I don't think we have any choice but to have free will. But at least I know, at least I know, at least I know at this point that I'm being ironic and that some of the irony is at my own expense and it's a risk I have to be willing to run. But the Christian answer is, of course you have free will. The boss insists upon it.